The Battle of Sarmizegdusa was a siege of Sarmizegdusa, the capital of Darcia, fought in 106 between the army of the Roman Emperor Trajan, and the Dacians led by King Dispalus. Chapter 1 Background Because of the threat the Dacians represented to the Roman Empire's eastward expansion, in the year 101 Emperor Trajan made the decision to begin a campaign against them. The first conflict began on March 25 and the Roman troops, consisting of four principal legions, the units ex Gemina, 11 Claudia, 2 Traiana Fortis, and 30 Ulpia Victrix, defeated the Dacians, and it thus ended in Roman victory. Although the Dacians had sustained a defeat during the First Dacian War, the Emperor postponed the final assault on their capital of Sarmizegdusa to reorganize his troops. Trajan demanded severe concessions from the Dacians and very hard peace conditions, Dispalus, the Dacian king, had to renounce all claims to portions of his kingdom, including Bono, Tara Hattigului, Oltenia, and Muntinia in the region southwest of Transylvania. He also had to surrender all Roman deserters his troops had captured, as well as the Dacian war machines. Upon returning to Rome, Trajan was welcomed as a victorious leader, and in honor of his triumph he took the name of Dacicus, a title that appears on his coinage of this period. However, during the years 103 to 105, Dispalus did not respect the peace conditions imposed by Trajan, and in retaliation the emperor prepared to annihilate the Dacian kingdom, and finally conquer Sarmizegetatsa. The siege of Sarmizegetatsa took place in the summer of the year 106. It is estimated that the Dacians most likely had fewer than 20,000 men capable of fighting the invasion. Chapter 2 Advance The Roman forces approached Sarmizegetatsa in three main columns. The first column crossed the bridge built by Apollodorus of Damascus, and then followed the valleys of rivers Cerna and Timish up to Tibiscum. They then turned on the valley of the river Bistra, through the Tara Hattigului depression. In these places, there were already Roman garrisons stationed from the First War, greatly easing the advance. They passed through Valia Cernae, Hatseg, and Valia Striului and destroyed the Dacian fortresses at Kostesht, Blidaru, and Pietro Rosi. The second column of the army is believed to have crossed the Danube somewhere near ancient Susideva and then marched northwards on the Valley of Jew, linking with the first Roman column in Tara Hattigului. The combined forces of the two columns then began attacking the area of the Shurianu Mountains, meeting sporadic but desperate resistance from the Dacians. The third Roman column, most likely led by Trajan himself, advanced through eastern Montenia, crossed the Carpathians at a location close to what is now Bran, and marched westwards through southern Transylvania. The rest of the troops left from Mesia Inferior and passed through Bran, Bratisia, and Oituts and destroyed the Dacian fortresses between Cumidava and Angustia. At the battle for the conquest of Sarmizegetutsa the following legions participated, two at Utrix, four Flavia Felix, and a vexillatio of Viferata which until this war had been stationed in Iudea. The Roman forces then enveloped Sarmizegetutsa. Other Roman units are believed to have attacked other Dacian settlements and rally points, as far as the river Tisha to the north, and Moldavia to the east. Dacian settlements in the west, such as Zerdava, were completely destroyed in this period. However, Moldavia and Maramuresh, located in modern-day northern Romania, were never part of the Roman province of Darcia and would remain free from Roman rule. Chapter 3 – Siege The only historical record of the siege is Trajan's Column, which is a controversial source. There is debate as to whether the Romans did actually fight for Sarmizegetatsa, or whether the Dacians destroyed their capital while fleeing ahead of the advancing legions. Most historians agree that a siege of Sarmizegetatsa actually took place. The first assault was repelled by the Dacian defenders. The Romans bombarded the city with their siege weapons and, at the same time, built a platform to more easily breach the fortress. They also encircled the city with a circumvallatio wall. Finally, 
the Romans destroyed the water pipes of Sarmizigetatsun and obliged the defenders to surrender before they set fire to the city. Roman forces succeeded in entering the Dacian sacred enclosure, hailed Trajan as emperor, and then leveled the whole fortress. For Flavia Felix was stationed there to guard the ruins of Sarmizigetatsun. Following the conclusion of the siege, Bicilis, a confidant of Dispalus, betrayed his king, and led the Romans to the Dacian treasure, which, according to Jerome Carcapino, consisted of 165,000 kilograms of pure gold and 331,000 kilograms of silver in the bed of the Sargesia River. Chapter 4 Aftermath Dispalus and many of his followers escaped the legions during the siege. They fled east, probably towards the fortification of Ranistorum, only to be caught by the Roman cavalry. Knowing the often brutal treatment of prisoners of war given by the Romans, Dispalus killed himself to avoid capture. Dispalus' head and right arm were later presented to Trajan. The Romans reorganized Darcia as a Roman province and built another capital city at a distance of 40 kilometers from the old Sarmizigetatsa. This center was named Colonia Ulpia Traiana Dasica Augusta Sarmizigetatsa. The Roman Senate celebrated the founding by ordering the minting of a Cestertius dedicated to the Optimus Princeps. Losses sustained in this war by the Dacians were tremendous, but the Roman army also took significant casualties in the conquest of Darcia. The first Dacian rebellion against Roman rule would coincide with the death of Trajan, in 117, showing the effect the emperor had on the Dacians after the war. Even in modern Romanian folklore, Trajan is remembered as Trajan, and his great wars with the people of the mountains are still remembered in Romanian epic songs. Whilst the battle ended in Roman victory, it is considered by historians as the last great conquest of the Roman Empire before its eventual decline.